What's going on, guys? My name is Will, otherwise known as Breezy, but otherwise known as Brizette by people that can't read my name correctly. This is episode 3 of How to Make Your Own Game Videos, and let's get right into it. I'm going to be explaining some more basics of Sony Vegas. We've already gotten our feet wet a little bit on the very, very basics, but in this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to use transitions and how to do this type of thing with the picture over the picture, like that. Um and how to zoom in. So let's get started with the transitions first. We'll import two clips like this. And all I have to do, it's really simple, really. Um, all I have to do is go to transitions, and I like to use the iris transitions. I'll choose this one right here. Just drag it in right there, and you're done. And we can just uh, render this out real quick. Here, let me redo this and make it a little bit smaller so it'll render quicker. Hold on a sec. Uh, make it really small. Like that. And put the transitions. Drag in right into the middle right there and let go. And let's watch it after you render it. And hopefully it'll be quick. My computer sucks. Uh, today I just uh, recorded my 100th video special. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but once I get to my 100th video, I'll post it. I deleted like five or six videos that had copyright infringements because of the music. So, um, that's why it says I only have 90 videos now. I used to have over 100, but then I deleted some because I don't want to have, I don't have a, I don't want to have a strike on my channel. So, right there, you can see the, uh, uh, the transition go across and the black guys that's because the clip already has a fade in so the clip won't have a fade in usually I don't even need to render this because you just saw it right there um, so yeah get rid of this now now I'm going to show you guys how to zoom in on the clip and this may, may seem like really like uh, do it just zooming in but I mean you have to learn it because you don't know how to do it so I mean we're going to open up the uh Event pan crop again. We're gonna change this to no. And move over a little bit so you can actually see. Alright. So all you have to do is just zoom in wherever you want. Like this. And I'll explain the keyframes a little bit later because those are a bit more advanced and a bit more hard to understand. Now, if I hold the shift button, it'll go by like. I don't even know what you say it, but it won't go like all like it won't go smooth like that. Um, so yeah, that's all you have to do. You just zoom in like that, and then we can watch the video back, and it's zoomed in. So that's it. I mean, you can use it for like the. Let me show you. You can use it for the uh, the kill feed that I'll get with the with the uh, with the uh, collateral. So what you gotta do is you just play to get the collateral. Sorry, right, right there. Let's move over until I get the collateral right right there. It's good. So we're gonna press S. Move over. We're gonna press S. Oop, I press X. We're gonna press S and then we can go a little bit farther. To rig right there, that's good. We're gonna zoom in on our timeline and we're gonna click this and we're gonna just zoom in on that kill feed so we can drag this over here and you can see the kill feed right there and we can watch this back right now and it zooms in like that so yeah, that's it and a little bit later in, in later tutorials I'll show you guys how to make it gradually zoom in and that's really easy but not now I want to wait a little bit until I get into the keyframes so the last thing we've got is the picture on picture, like I did in the uh, Black Ops Escalation Overview. So, it's really simple. All you have to do is take the video you want to be underneath and drag it to another timeline or track. And then, I'm going to mute the audio right now. And then just take this. And then, like I said, these are humongous. Actually, no. Drag out. Okay, so... Right now you're just seeing the Black Ops clip because that's on top of the 
uh, FIFA clip. So all you gotta do is click this, and make it sm and make it smaller. Actually, no, make it bigger. Sorry, I'm stupid. Make it bigger. Zoom out, and you can put it like right in the top corner, right there, and you're good to go. You can watch this. So you can have a bunch of videos over each other if you want. And I use it pretty efficiently. I, I show the map while showing the gameplay in my overview. And that was basically the uh, basics of Sony Vegas. Part 2, I guess you can say. Um, now I'll be going to a little bit more advanced stuff in Sony Vegas. And if you thought this was helpful, please leave a like and a comment. It helps my video and helps my channel and it makes me happy. Thanks, guys. See you later.